United USA. Check it out. Uh, you know, Mr. Laundry, without necessarily implicating him in the homicide, because as of now, they may not have any evidence to implicate him in the homicide. So let's arrest him on a charge, a valid charge. And then when he's apprehended, then we can interrogate him about perhaps the dead body and go from there. So I think it's just another way of lawfully finding him. The access of devices. And we were talking earlier, it's not for Gabby's cell phone, rather it's for a credit card, namely a Capital One bank card in which they say that Brian Laundry attained more than a thousand dollars. And again, this is not for the homicide of Gabby Petito, but for unauthorized access of devices, that credit card. We did see some interesting things today. Number one, that silver Mustang, the Mustang that was over uh, at the police department, that has been been returned home. In fact, you can probably see it right there behind me uh, in front of that red Dodge Ram pickup. We also saw the laundry parents leave their home for a pretty significant amount of time today. In fact, they just returned home about 15 or 20 minutes ago. Reporters shouting questions at them. Uh, no response from the family. But when they left, they returned back shortly after with that silver Mustang. Again, it was sitting at the Northport Police Department. Remember, that's the car that Brian supposedly used to take to the reserve where they've been uh, searching to no avail. Now, after Laundry's mom parked the car, she got back in the pickup and they were seen leaving the neighborhood with what appears to be a law enforcement vehicle leaving the neighborhood not far behind them. We don't a lot of the search vehicles coming out here, but the Northport Police Department says they will be back out here with the FBI, with law enforcement agencies from across the state searching this reserve once more. And earlier today, I did talk to a retired FBI agent and he said the search out here is not being done in vain. He says that there's something that's leading them to this area and it may not be brian himself but it could be something that brian put in the reserve mark and kelly back to you and kim and gabby is home any idea when they may be speaking to the media yeah, Kelly, well, it looks like through the family attorney, they said that that would be happening possibly after her funeral. Uh, but I did talk to one of Gabby's friends today based in Florida. She said that Gabby at least in the public eye, investigators are still focused on this 25,000 acre nature preserve. They've been looking for Gabby Petito's fiance for days, hoping something, any kind of clue will turn up. There Let's go ahead and stop it right there, ladies and gents. So, a couple interesting developments. Uh, the video I posted yesterday talked about not only the uh, parents of Brian Laundrie's house getting raided, but also his sister's house. Uh, the Mustang was returned today, as you just saw in this report. Um, Parents obviously know at this point they have to play ball with the FBI. Otherwise, their asses are going to jail as well. They know this. Um, I think anyone with common sense can see this. And based on the reports, also we have a good idea of where things are headed. But um, at this point, um, what they are doing essentially is they're getting him on what they can get him on, which right now is unauthorized charges of Gabby's credit card, whether that was through her mobile device um, uh, card number or whether it was the, you know, the just uh, him knowing her card number or having the card, either way. Um, so anything over, so how the law works um, is anything over $1,000 would be considered felony. Okay, so in this case, because it would be considered, whether they consider it wire fraud, they're saying unauthorized uh, device. In other words, you're using somebody else's information, basically. Um, so what, what they're doing is they're, they're pinning them on what they can. And being that it's financial, it would be considered federal, that is fraud. So they're getting him on what they know they can get him on right now to take him into custody and then probably uh, knowing that he's a flight, well, <laughs> beyond a flight risk, he's already took, taken flight. In other words, like he's missing, right? So that's where what they're trying to do is take him into custody. They want to hold him. I'm sure that when they do capture him at some point soon, there's so many people looking for him that... Uh, it's really just a matter of time. The odds are completely against him. Um, so 
what will happen is in this type of situation, uh, when they do catch him, he will have an arraignment in front of a judge. What will happen is uh, the prosecutor will give a recommendation and based on that recommendation, it will be to hold him in custody because they will say, we believe he's a flight risk under these circumstances. We don't want to have any bond. So it'll probably be no bond whatsoever, and they will hold him indefinitely. That's what will happen. Um, so now what we're looking at is essentially a circumstance where the government is stepping their game up to a level to use whatever tools are available to them in their toolbox. Uh, and you know what, that, that's, you know, that's the way it works. And obviously, uh, you know, if they have evidence, it seems that they have sufficient evidence uh, that they're not telling us because it is an ongoing investigation, they're not gonna release all the information to the public. For example, how was Gabby killed? Right? We know that she was killed. We know that they declared it a homicide, but how was she killed? Was she stabbed? Was she shot? Was she hit in the head with a big rock? Did he choke her to death? I mean, what, like, what, what did he do? Like, how did she die? They're not releasing that information. Why? Because it's an ongoing investigation. Um, it is frustrating to me because I want that information. They said in the autopsy report that it was homicide. Have they released that information? No. There's another aspect that's frustrating. I want that autopsy report. I want as much information as possible. Anytime I'm investigating something and doing a news analysis, uh, investigative journalism, I want as many details as possible so I can share with my audience. So it looks like, uh, folks, we're just going to have to be patient, ride it out. It looks like uh, it is just a matter of time before they catch him. Let me know what you think in the comments about this situation. How do you feel about this? Uh, any thoughts, uh, concerns, whatever it is that uh, you would like to share, feel free to do so in the comments. This is still America for the moment. And uh, to the extent of the Constitution, even though we're limited on social media, we still do have freedom of speech for the moment. So exercise that freedom of speech while we still have it, uh, God willing. Thank you so much for your support. For those of you who are new to my channel, please uh, subscribe. And if you hit that bell notification, you'll be notified of new videos. Um, hitting that like button obviously helps me to get around YouTube's algorithm. The more people that uh, like and share my videos, it obviously helps to get a level of exposure out there, helping me to grow my channel. Uh, which I have so desperately been trying to do. <laughs> and it seems the odds are against me, but nonetheless, um, I haven't quit. Not yet. I'm still doing what I can. So thank you so much for all of you that have been supporting United USA. And I'll check you all in the next video.